and all that to keep people interested, bro. What you think about Brandon Jennings' comments? Man, that's why I ain't been on it. What do you say? Nah, he said something about like uh, he really don't like this player empowerment of the league. He feel like Chris Paul, Bron, Wade, and all of them kind of like shifted it. He said like if you look now. And with everybody making money, it's kind of like corrupting the league, even down to high school players. He like, they sitting out for low management. Basically, he like, okay. they just done went so far left. NBA players don't really, they're not playing because they love the game. It's just really for money, and it's kind of like taking the, the fun out the league. Uh, I mean, I agree and disagree, but... It's kind of like I see what he I see his point, but um, you can't blame players who want to get their money. I think is so they use is, they use those guys' names to get money. The NBA they wouldn't be the NBA without LeBron James and Kevin Durant and Steph Curry. You know, like I kind of have a different mindset. It's like for me, wait here until I get back. Hold on, okay. I just gotta walk right quick. Hold on, okay. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I bro. My thing is, it's no different. Like, at my job, I'm in, you know, I'm in corporate America. So, my, uh, at my uh, plant, they made us start doing um, rotations where we have to rotate our schedule every three okay. months. People didn't like that. So, it sucks that people that didn't like it they went and got other jobs or people had to deal with it. For me, NBA players, you chose to play in the NBA. And you can negotiate. Meaning if you don't like get traded, get enough leverage, become good enough where you can get a no-trade clause. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, that's what you signed on your contract. Now, yeah. If you sign a contract, like you cannot go out and then just say, I don't like my situation. And F my contract now. Put me on a new team now. Like, with, with Kevin Durant and what James Harden and what Ben Simmons did, what Anthony Davis did, what, uh, what's his name, Vince Carter did when he got wanted to get forced out of um, Toronto, it's just mm -hmm. unethical and whack because you signed a contract. Yeah. Like, someone who did the fight was – if you look at it, um, Matt Stafford with the Lions, he gave them 12 years, and they could have got a better package deal for him. They could have got a better trade from Carolina. But they said, you know what? You honored your contract. You did a solid. We're going to uh, go out, and we're going to trade you to a contender. Right, exactly. You got to exactly. be able to work with people. Durant, you go out. These guys paid you for a year. You know what I'm just saying? We didn't legislate. Just be professional, man, basically. That's all I'm saying, man. End of the day, just be professional. Like, and if that's just how you choose to do business, that's on you. But what I'm saying is these guys want to do all this empowerment stuff. You don't hold the cars. You don't hold them. You're millionaires going up against billionaires. They can afford to sit out and take an L. You get what I'm saying? They could afford. Real. Yeah. Like, they really can't afford to, but what I'm saying is, the NBA players will bleed out before those guys. But they don't make – I think only the Lakers really make their money off of, like, just straight NBA. But most of these guys have other interests. That's true. That's true. That's just my thoughts. But uh, yeah, yeah that, my thoughts on that is just – I agree with you saying. Just be professional. That's why Stafford – that's why Stafford, they call it the Detroit Rams, just being joking. But I know a lot of people don't like that. But when he's with the Rams, all the Detroit fans kind of, like, was, like, cheering for him, even though we still Lions fans. It's like – because he was he professional. Was he didn't complain. Man. He didn't – all right, Lions, man, we're we not winning, man. I want to go out of here. They're like, no, we're going to trade you to a contender for being, you know, for being a professional, man. He got rewarded for it, so. Yeah. Isaiah Thomas, it, that was dirty. But he went out. You get what I'm saying? He still went out and chose to play. You get what I'm saying? I know the doctors, that whole situation was dirty, but if you look at it, you're a businessman, right? 
<laughs> dude get injured and it's messed up he got yeah, injured. Yeah. But are you gonna pay him thirty million after he got injured? Right. So you people gotta realize exactly. your greatness dictates what you can do. That Kevin Durant can go out with a torn Achilles and get a four year hundred and sixty million dollar deal because he's Kevin Durant. Yeah. He's you Kevin Durant, saying? exactly. He's able to do yeah, he was able yeah. to do that. But same thing happened with Cousins. Cousins was supposed to get a big payday. He got an Achilles, and he never got one. So it just really comes down to the type of player you are, and you're able to command mm-hmm. things. But other than that, what you think about uh-huh. the NFL? Preseason. Uh, 